Hey family. Uh, I came on. I just wanted to show you guys something um, about Roche's picture. Hi Roche, in case you come by. I want you to see this. All of you. Okay, so family, you see where she circled Jesus and his profile, right? Well, look on the right one where it isn't circled. And you see Jesus, but you also see behind him the bride. She's got part of her hair up and then flowing down her back. You can see her profile as well. And it kind of looks like in the center between his face and her face, um, the outline you made here kind of looks like a butterfly a little bit. Uh, like, like the wings going up her face and then... Um, over on his profile as well. Um, yeah, it looks kind of like a butterfly. Okay, so you've got Jesus and the bride, and then a butterfly in the center between them. Okay, so on the original, I want y'all to see this. Okay, so you got Jesus on the left and the bride behind him, and her hair is all down her back, and Jesus is carrying her, and he's about to carry her up to heaven, right, through the light. He's about to carry her through the portal, but that's not all, family. If you look behind the bride, it looks like a lion. It looks like a lion, his paws, his mane, okay? like a lion behind the bride. And then if you look at the full frontal view, okay, as one big picture, to me, it looks like a lamb. It looks like a lamb, okay? And then when you divide them, it's Jesus carrying the bride and then the lion behind her, signaling that the lamb is about to turn into the lion and release the seals and the judgments on the, on the world, right? He's not going to be the lamb anymore. He's going to be the lion. And family, when you look, make it smaller, and you look behind this picture, it looks like the flood coming in right after he takes his bride up to heaven. So there's a lot of stuff going on here with this picture. So I had to share this with you guys and with Roche. Sis, um... Yeah, it's, it's the Lord carrying his bride up to heaven and even showing the judgment as well. The Lion of Judah and the flood, Noah's flood coming in um, right after he takes his bride up to heaven. And um, it's amazing. It's amazing in the front looking like a lamb, but he's about to become the lion. So... I had to share this with you guys. Uh, your sister, I, from my understanding, took the picture of Roche. Um, it definitely looks like confirmation, and you can share that with her. It's, it's the Lord carrying his bride, and he's about to turn into the lion, and then the flood's coming in right after he takes her out. So, guys, be encouraged with that. And I just want to say, too, I'm still watching uh, for October, you know. Um, both timelines look good. <laughs> um, Roche's timeline looks good, and the Blood Moon timeline looks good. Like, um, what Manchild's pointing out from all the other dreamers, um... You know, I, I can't really argue with it. Both of them look good. And I'm going to be watching for both. And I really feel like the sooner the better. <laughs> right? We all just want to go home, right? We can agree on that. We all just want to go home. And um, we'll look harder into the blood moon if we're still here in November. But let's... Um, Let's just see what happens, right? Um, you know, Roche left me a comment that the Lord, uh, she was praying. She was specifically praying after she discovered 
that the Lord changed her, um, um, what are they called? What's she call them? Her photos, her, um, her visions, her pictures that she created, right? The Lord went in and he changed the pictures. Okay, so once she discovered that the Lord changed the pictures, she didn't know what to do. So she was praying to the Lord, asking what to do. And then that's when the Lord gave her the vision of the solar eclipse inside of the temple. Okay, um, I think I got, yeah, I've got that right here. He gave her this vision, and he also gave her the dream about running out of time, that we didn't have the time that we thought we had. And I was just sharing all that. And that was an answer to her actually praying and asking the Lord what to do because she was at first going to upload her her PowerPoint about the blood moon and the Lord did stop her. So there is a reason he's wanting us to pay attention to what's going on now. Um, we're in the days of awe and um, the 30th is the last day of summer. Um, she was given the number 30 two different times that I know of for sure. Um, help me, Lord. <laughs> She's been shown so many things, guys. Um, it's really, you know, here's the thing. We all got to work together. We got to try to put this puzzle together. Well, no one's going to figure it out by themselves. That's our job is to work together and try to uh, figure it out, you know. And there's no reason to get, you know, upset or anything like that. We just got to look at all, the whole picture, right? And see what the Lord's trying to tell us. And He is telling us a whole lot right now, which is so amazing. And um, He's definitely wanting us to look at this day where He wouldn't have gave her all these clues to be looking at it so I'm going to still look at it but I just want to say it is you know highly possible it's always possible that the blood moon can come into play but we we are still looking at October and if it passes then we'll you know we'll all look to the blood moon she or she even said she will look to the blood moon too so, you know, she's got to listen to what the Lord tells her to do, guys. That's, that's the whole thing. That's why I was praying about it. Um, because the count, the count, the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, is definitely in there. And it's kind of like a day that nobody would think it would happen. A day when everybody, you know, thinks not, right? So that's something to consider. Um, the The good news is the king is coming, no matter what. So we can all agree on that. <laughs> and um, just, you know, be encouraged with all of it, family. The Lord's doing amazing things. And we're about to be in his temple, his kingdom, his heaven. And... This is just amazing. The the light is, you know, a representation of heaven, of him about to carry his bride through, and he's about to turn into the lion, and then the flood is coming in behind. So it's definitely a confirmation picture in the sky. Um, you know, and y'all know that I'm a sky. I look at the sky, too, because, uh, well, I'll pull it up again. Yeah, in 2020, I mo most of you have seen this, but some of you may not. The Lord gave me uh, this amazing picture in the sky. And I'll just start from the right. The right looks like God the Father sitting on the throne. And in the center, it looks like the Lion of Judah about to roar and loose these four horsemen. Uh on the far left here so yeah it looks like a horseman and a rider on a horse it looks like four horses there 
the lion and God the Father. And there's the uh, smaller picture so you can get it all in one. And uh, the Lord blessed me with this picture in 2020. And then almost a year to the day I got my rapture dream, you know, with the timeline and everything that I've shared. And about an answer to prayer also concerning Sarah Hoffman's vision. And um, so, yeah, anyway, the point is, is I'm a cloud watcher. Ever since I got this in the sky, I understand watching the clouds because we do get miracles in, the, in these clouds pointing to things. And, um, oh, and yeah, the picture with the, the clouds with the scorpion in it. Let me see if I can find that. Okay, this picture of yours, Roche, where it looks like the scorpion there on the left. Well, what what is in the very front there, I was thinking it could be um, the bow and arrow. But since you pulled that up with the scales in front of the scorpion, to me, when you turn it on the side, it looks like the scales. I'd said it could either be the scales or it could be, the, um, you know, like a bow and arrow. But... Like, when you pulled that up on Stellarium with the scorpion, the scale was right directly in front of the scorpion. And I believe that's what this cloud is. It's the uh, scales of justice in front of the scorpion. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would share that with you. So, definitely, guys, always keep your eyes on the skies. Uh, um... You know, I joke around. I say the Lord's sending us every which way, right? He's sending us smoke signals, but he's literally sending us cloud signals. <laughs> that he's definitely coming, family. So, y'all just be encouraged with that. He truly is coming to get his, his bride. And um, the flood's coming. So... If you don't know Jesus, you better get saved. Call on him now. Believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. He, that he was <laughs> he died, he was buried, he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, to pay for our sins. We're all sinners falling short of the glory of a holy God. And the payment for those sins is blood. That is the currency of heaven, and the Lord Jesus came to earth to pay it for us. Because none of us can measure up. He was the perfect sacrifice. The perfect innocent lamb. And he got up on that cross to die for all of us. But you have to choose to believe. He doesn't force anyone to do it. He, he's a gentleman. Okay? And it's a heart condition. It's not a head condition. You have to believe in your heart. So accept him now. Do not wait. Get on your knees, call on Him, tell Him you believe that He is your Savior, that He did pay for your sins, and then He'll send you His Holy Spirit and seal you with the Holy Spirit of promise. Paul, the Apostle Paul says we're sealed in Ephesians. Ephesians, he says we're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. And this Holy Spirit comes in and He teaches you how to live for Christ, how to love again. He'll give you a heart of flesh. And uh, there's nothing like it. But I'll tell you this, you don't want to be left behind. Hell on earth is coming. That flood wall that's behind the Lord and His bride, that flood is coming right after He takes His bride home. And that Lion of Judah is going to be roaring, most definitely, and it's going to be the worst time that ever was or ever will be. Men's hearts will fail them while they're standing on their feet from fear of the things coming upon the world. Starving to death, thirsting to death because there's no clean water. Killing each other in the street for sport. It's going to be awful. Don't wait. Call on Jesus now. Well, family, 
sorry about that. Uh, well, we all know the truth anyway. Um, I didn't want to bring you down <laughs> thinking about the judgments, but it's a part of it, right? So, all right, that's all I got for you. The king and glory is coming to get his bride, and then he's going to turn into that lion. He's going to roar, and that flood, that that tsunami, uh, that flood is coming right after. All right, I love you guys. Good night. God bless.